Void's dark embrace, and eagerly await the billions of souls that Thanos will send to join me. <laughs> We're more than halfway there, team. Just two more stones to go. You have proven more powerful than we anticipated. But as long as one of the Black Order still stands... All who oppose our master shall I showed you mercy once. Never again! Of course she thinks mad at the last time. We just sent her husband spiraling off into the abyss. This one's for free for me, me bub. The death I grant you is welcome compared to what Thanos offers. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
drives, but your forces will only grow small. This is for my beloved Corvus! <laughs> This one is awesome for me, bub. Level up. Shield down. You made the cut. Bleed. Let the universe tremble in the name of Thanos. efforts are most impressive. But you forget. I have powerful allies of my own. And when the Black Order unites, death always prevails. No one dies here today. They may be merciless killers, but thankfully the Black Order saw a value in me that my father never did. And I see value in them as well. Just imagine what we could all do together. An alliance. Powerful enough to bring even Thanos himself to his knees. And to bring a new order to the universe. My master's lost. Which side he stands on is how it all is. As long as there's hope, Thanos there's is not here. And how can we change his son? He's already chosen which side he stands on. You're right, Captain. I'm sorry. I... I'm not Thanos. And you never will be. There is only one. I am Groot.
You want me to give you the standard optimistic pre-battle hero pep talk? Or do you want me to be flat out honest with you? I am... Groot. Jeez! I wasn't gonna be that honest. Leave the kid with a little hope, would you, pal? Yes! The final battle is here at last! My whole life has been devoted to vanquishing Thanos. It was what I was created to do. And now, my destiny has finally arrived. Countless times, and each one he has managed to escape my wrath. But this time is different. This time, I have you by my side. To take the brunt of his attack for me. Every second we delay, Thanos inches closer to victory. Thanos is not easily swayed. He finally has everything he's ever wanted in his grasp. He won't let anyone stand in his way. Not even me. You just saw what he did to his own flesh and blood. And if we don't stop him, I guarantee we will all suffer fates far worse than Thane's. I started all this. Now it's time to end it. Oh, sure I can. I'm great at it. And in this case, it's deserved. If we hadn't trespassed on that Kree ship, maybe they would have defeated the Black Order and the Stones would be safe on Hala. Then... I guess it's a good thing I'm pretty great at that, too. This is it. The universe depends on us. Can we count on you? There's only one play here. Hit Thanos with everything we've got, and hope it's enough. Last I checked, so are we. Now, let's move! Where did Thanos send us to? It doesn't matter. If he has the stones, we may not be here much longer. Come a long way just to die. Then I guess it's a good thing we have different plans. There is no escaping destiny. Your fate is written in the stars. If it is... Then it's time for us to be the stars we were always meant to be! Yes! Show me all the power you possess! And I promise, I shall do the same! So much energy all around. It's so hard to focus. No choice. Must keep fighting. No matter how pure our souls may be, this stone can still twist them into darkness. Omnipotent power fits me like a glove. Don't you agree? Got yourself some mighty fancy jewelry there, bub. Care to dance? All this power? Where's the responsibility stone when you need it? Be honored. You have been chosen as the first to die. I am Hate to say it, but there's no peaceful solution here. We have to take him down. 
Use the space stone all you wish, Thanos. There is nowhere you can disappear to where Drax will not find you and kill you. He tried to take us out of our element, but he forgot that elements are still mine to control. I do serve death in my own way. It would be my honor to send you to meet her. You think death herself loves you, Thanos? That's insane. She's my girl! <laughs> Only to balance life and death. Your sacrifice is nothing personal. FYI, I'm not technically from this universe. If that factors in when you're deciding who gets to live. <laughs> This universe deserves so much more. Something only I can give it. You've got it all wrong, son. Ah, but you were right all along, my friends. I am not my father. I am something far better! Never could, father! But if you expect us to believe you're tougher than Thanos because you put on some old suit... You don't need to believe. I'll show you. Where are we? I've never seen anything like this. The center of the universe. The birthplace of the stones. The heart of infinity. How fitting, then, that the place where all things began is where your pathetic existence will finally come to an end. This universe will be mine. 
mine alone to destroy, child. Even if I must save it from you first! <laughs>
to me! You did this to yourself, boy. The second that you believed you could surpass me, your fate was sealed. But the armor! That armor is a curse. Far too powerful for any mortal being to contain. There's a reason I chose to wear only one of its gloves. You knew. Of course. And more importantly, I knew better. We have to do something. There is nothing that can be done. He's just a boy. A boy who tried to be a god and failed. But perhaps we are not that different after all. What are you doing now, tyrant? What I should have done long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Please, father. I am taking away our pain. <laughs> so, I guess we won? Only for now. If I know anything about Thanos, it's that he always finds a way to return. Even from the grave. When he does, we will be ready. <laughs> Hands off, ugly. You're under arrest by authority of the Nova Corps. You and your Black Order buddies are gonna spend the rest of your lives in the kiln for what you've done. And it looks like your boss won't be around to break you out this time. Thanos and Thane may be out of play, but the Stones are not. And as long as they're still together, the threat they pose is too great. Then we split them up. We hide them on opposite ends of the universe. Or even beyond it, if we can. And we don't ever tell each other where they are. And sure, some cosmic jerk will eventually find a way to reunite them. But we'll be making it a whole lot harder. And maybe, just maybe, it'll buy us enough time to figure out how to stop these crazy things for good. And if not, well... We can always do this whole team-up thing again, right? Yeah.